Sustainable Sasha here, wrapping up Plastic Free July. I'm here to share with you how our staff did with our challenges and to see how you did with yours. So be sure to leave in the comments how you challenged yourself this Plastic Free July and if you succeeded. Or if you have some new challenges going forward, what those are too. So my challenges were to really try to remember to have cutlery not included in my takeout orders and request that in the notes when I order. Um, that one I didn't do so great with at first. My very first takeout order during Plastic Free July, I totally forgot and got some of these. But that's okay. Every other order in July, I remembered. And that's the whole point, is trying to build new behaviors and sustain those behaviors. Or just keep trying. <laughs> yeah, my other challenge was to eliminate plastic kitchen bags and use something else. So these um, repurposed paper bags from the farmer's market, which are already made from recycled paper, work perfectly in my small trash can. Um, so I switched to these completely and haven't bought any new kitchen bags made of plastic. And I uh, refilled some of my favorite household products that are plastic free as well. So let's see how my coworkers did with their challenges. Hi, I'm Genevieve, the Donor Relations Manager for the Galveston Bay Foundation. Um, for Plastic Free July, I was pretty good about only getting fruits and vegetables that were not packaged, um, but I was not wholly successful in fulfilling my pledge. Um, and did forget my reusable bags a few times. But I also realized how many items you can only find in plastic containers or plastic packaging. So to make up for that, I made sure that I recycled all the containers that I used. I also discovered there's a local co-op nearby um, in League City where I live and that I can bring, um, go get bulk items and bring my own containers going forward. Um, I did, however, find a way to repurpose the plastic bags that I had got from the grocery store and also solve some of my boredom due to this pandemic. Um, so I am working on a pinata for an upcoming birthday in my family and have used the plastic bags to uh, cut them up to make the fringe on the pinata. Just cut them like that. So what I took away from Plastic Free July was that it is really, really important to be prepared and intentional in order to reduce your single plastic use. Um, but the environmental benefits far outweigh the personal time, um, my personal sacrifice and time and convenience for sure. So I'm definitely gonna keep working on it. So if you remember Haley, our habitat restoration manager, her challenge was to eliminate plastic disposable razors and get something reusable. Check out this awesome leaf razor that she got made of stainless steel. She's so excited to never have to buy disposable plastic razors or those expensive refills again. Now let's check in with Charlotte, our advocacy programs manager. I'm excited to see what she did with some plastic cutlery she had lying around the house. Ta-da! What do you think? A mermaid princess, marine debris themed, single use plastic, recycled crown uh, that maybe has a few statements in there about making sure that your litter and plastic does not end up in the bay or any other water body. So as you can see, reducing your single use plastic consumption can be a challenge, even for our staff, but that's okay. Take it day by day and keep up the good work. Every time you make a better choice, you're making a big difference. And don't be afraid to get creative with it either. Check out the link we provided below to find out more ways you can help protect Galveston Bay from plastic pollution. Thanks, happy Plastic Free July.